Welcome back to the Global Business Report here on Arise News. All right, we've met so many incredible minds at this Artificial Intelligence Summit. You just heard our conversation with the incredible uh, Alexander uh, uh, Sando, who, of course, was telling us about how AI can be practically implemented. We had another conversation uh, here in our Abuja studios with Dr. Bayo Adekambi, the CEO, founder of Data Science Nigeria. He started off by reflecting on what we just saw uh, this past week with the Artificial Intelligence Workshop. Well, great. I, I think we, as a nation, this is a watershed moment uh, because artificial intelligence is a nation-defining capability. It's going to be a basis for national competitiveness. Uh, so what that means is that the great nations in the next 20, 30, 40 years are nations that, are, that will apply artificial intelligence to create more value than others. Now, the approach that has been taken, and great uh, credit to the visionary leadership of the Honorable Minister for uh, Communication, Digital Economy and Innovation, uh, that's uh, Dr. Bosun Tijani, who consider a bottom-up, inclusive and representative approach, where we bring the best of us to articulate our path to have a larger share of the future. At the conference, we've had 120 leading experts with about 2,400 years of experience cumulatively. Now, gathered in a room to chart a path for us as a nation in terms of how are we going to apply AI in increasing our opportunity, possibilities, and of course, advancing our productivity through gross uh, domestic product in terms of incremental. Now, the sessions have looked at various verticals and opportunities. We've looked at national developmental priorities. What are the things that are unique to us? And what asset do we have as a nation that we can build on? So those foundational you know, pillars have been considered. And eight operational pillars have also been articulated. Such as a nation, we have a very clear roadmap. And what a roadmap means is that any investor who wants to do anything big, we are the biggest African nation, uh, black nation in the world. We have a clear strategy on how we want to apply AI. So the implication then means, how do we apply it in governance? How do we apply it in education? How do we build institutional framework? How do we build support system? How do we build enablement to make sure that we're able to you know, exploit positively the opportunity created by artificial intelligence? So in the last four days, we've seen intentional brainstorming, a best practice being shared by most of them. You know, if you look at the years, uh, the countries where they've worked, over 60 countries. So we are learning from all best practices, we are indexing, we are standardizing, we are benchmarking, and most importantly, we are finding the unique path for Nigeria so that we can create a Nigerian-centric AI strategy that will be true to who we are, that will be responsible, accountable, ethical, but most importantly, drive our national productivity and make us a leader that we are in the Committee of Nations. Fantastic. So I had the privilege of hearing your robust presentation at the uh, Artificial Intelligence uh, Workshop. Tell us, uh, at least our viewers, what uh, Data Science uh, Nigeria does and how, you, how what you do integrates with this AI, AI strategy. Uh, Data Science Nigeria is a premier uh, AI consulting, research, training, solution delivery company out of Nigeria. Uh, even though we have presence across Africa, uh, in the UK and in Dubai, and our vision is to demonstrate how AI can be applied to improve the qualities of lives of people in the emerging market, making AI possibilities accessible for people who need it most. And because we are based here, we combine global best practices with local nuance to build local solutions. So we build AI solutions, and we've been privileged to work for global organizations, making AI work in this part of the world. And then we are also extensive into research. Uh, we do a lot of AI research and we publish academic papers that advance the practice of artificial intelligence. And of course, we are so keen about democratization of AI learning through our massive AI literacy program. Uh, today, we run massive AI learning clubs across secondary schools, primary schools, universities, and communities. It might interest you to know that we published the first AI books for kids in Africa, making AI available for kids in cartoon format. And as I speak to you, we are finalizing a project with Google, uh, Arewa Ladies for Tech, where we're making AI available in local language, starting with Hausa language, which will be launched uh, by April 30. So for us as an organization, we believe that AI is critical in nation building, and we are building the local capacity 
local ecosystem, local networks, which tie us to best practices across the world, such that we make AI work for us as a nation. So we also into we are also into strategy and policy. Uh, we've worked uh, on several global AI policy and strategy, and that's perhaps one of the reasons uh, why we've been engaged to be one of the co-facilitators uh, in shaping the Nigerian AI strategy. Uh, which we have seen in the last four days. We, we certainly certainly have. Um, with respect to the future, your, your outlook on how this is going to grow and scale. Uh, I was in a workshop. I observed the workshop on, on talents and 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 uh, efficiency and you know education and so on. How do you see things panning out over the over the next uh, few years? I've, I think about four things that I see. I'm going to, I see massification of AI for social good. Uh, AI is going to bridge a lot of infrastructural gaps and it's going to really help us as a nation. For example, how many doctors are we going to have in every village in Nigeria? It's going to be very difficult. But all the knowledge of doctors can be artificially configured into sequence of codes and model, which can be accessed on a mobile phone. And that mobile phone can speak people's local language, which is one of the work we're doing uh, called Afro LLM at DSM. So what that means is that even when there's no doctor, or perhaps areas where there are just traditional bat attendants or traditional uh, medical personnel, you can talk to a system, you know, and, and they make inquiries. You can do better diagnosis and prognosis. And medical practice can be more efficient, even in areas where there are no doctors. That is a practical example. I call that massification of AI for social good. The second thing we're going to see is the talent, uh, talent connection. Uh, with what the minister has done, bringing some of the best talent uh, from across the world to Nigeria, and allowing them to fraternize with the local expertise, there's a lot of inter, you know, interconnection being made. So what that means is that Nigeria can unlock the massive diaspora knowledge ecosystem to support the local ecosystem. And of course, we talk about issue of brain drain, but we're also going to begin to have a lot of brain gain. Uh, because when there's a lot of you know, co cross collaboration, research partnerships, we're going to see more people finding reason to want to uh, operate in Nigeria. Third, we're going to see a lot of investment with a clear strategy, because the outcome of this is going to be a compelling strategy that shows how AI will power Nigerian developmental agenda. Any investor will want to be part of that country. So we're going to see a lot of that happening. So we're going to see Nigeria become more like cluster, uh, not just for Africa, but for emerging markets. I mean, low medium income countries. Nigeria will be a major center of attraction. Then four, there will be massive productization. We have seen AI being applied in fintech, you know, in a very small way. But I see a massive explosion of AI application through a lot of products uh, being built. Especially when you see that in the last uh, one year, we've seen a lot of emphasis on talent development. For example, the ministry started 3MTT, building 3 million technology talent. Out of that, I can assure you, we may see about 100,000 of them looking at AI. Imagine a country having as much as that. That is going to be big. So the implication is that Nigeria becomes talent headquarters for the world. And that is a big deal for us. Especially when you look at our youthful population, this is a great time for us to be a, to, 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 as a country. And it's a great time for us as Nigeria to position ourselves as indeed the giant of Africa through the power of artificial intelligence.